to all my fellow listeners and followers. 2020 has been a year we will never forget, both for good and bad. And I believe that as individuals, we've not only become more independent in our ways of working, but we've also become more dependent on each other. And this faceless enemy, I think has taught us about values that we all have, but we have not yet had a chance to put them to practice. If I think of the value of education, it's not only taught us the value of life, but it's also understood the value of an exceptional career during these challenging times. If I look at the construction industry in just the last eight months, particularly in South Africa and other African countries, there's been very little change in the way we work, apart from a little bit of health and safety. We have not yet seen these advancing technologies and the improvement of standards, let alone digital standards, come into our industry yet. And for those individuals, as well as the entrepreneurs and companies, who I think have already discovered the benefits of this digital transformation, have also seen this never-ending learning of improvement and a means probably of educating yourself and continuing to develop to, to greater your own mastery. And I'm not just talking about the technology, but I'm talking about leadership skills and promoting those values of the, from the technology that you've learned from. That has given us an opportunity to transform ourselves. Remember this, formal education gives you the basic principles, let's say, to walk. If you want to keep moving forward, you've now been given those skills and the understanding of improving your skills, let's say, to run. To learn how to run, you need to continue to self-educate yourself. And that means maybe changing your psychology or the way you think about this industry. If you talk about BIM or building information modeling, digital engineering or digital construction, whatever you want to call it, it means you have to start thinking about the value it offers others in the industry. The old ways of working don't work anymore. This COVID-19 pandemic was an opportunity for us to play catch up with those who have already started their journey into these new ways of working. And I think this pandemic has given us a second chance to reinvent ourselves, not restart. You've already got the skills and you've got access to an infinite amount of online learning. And the reality is that we're probably in the greatest times to be alive. If you're learning, you're educating. If you're learning to develop your valuable skills that are needed within this industry, you're also developing your skills for society. So instead of maybe complaining that you've maybe lost your job or you're about to lose your job, or you're hanging around maybe till this epidemic is over so you can just get on with your way of working, I think it's time you need to ask yourself, where are your valuable skill sets right now in this marketplace? And how can you work harder to improve yourself? The one thing that I've learned in the past 30 years of my working in this field is developing myself. And that's probably the most important investment that nobody can take away from me. And it's not just about the technology that I've learned or the processes or the standards. It's about how we engage with people. It's how you engage with the traditionalist, the critic, the laggard, how you engage with the experts as well as the rookie. Learning to speak and influence all your ideas and your vision will only down your lips if you are not able to influence others and learn maybe from others. The person you will be in the future is based on everything that you learn today and maybe the leaders that you learn from every day. But it's also about the people that you listen to and you absorb their opinions. And all that information you absorb, maybe a positive or a negative one, will affect your future or even the projects that you're currently working on. The information that you feed your mind will shape the future of who you are. And if you take in just history, I guess we already know what your future will be. Learning right now in an industry that is transforming faster than you can fathom is becoming a sprint. It's no longer a journey. Every single one of us needs to fill our minds with successful thoughts and surround ourselves, may it be online or offline, with those who have the same ambition. It doesn't matter where you get your information from. You just have to keep learning. So what is your 2021 roadmap looking like? Know in your heart that 
only you can change your future. And if someone has done that for you already, or maybe even made it a reality for you, it's time for you to change someone else's. And dream big and help us change this industry together. Remember, the power of an enthusiastic industry is much better than an individual expert or a company that continues to voice their accomplishments and often have their own ingrained selfish ideas. The power that comes from an enthusiastic industry will allow us to unite from all parts of maybe the African continent as well as beyond, including all race, all discipline, all genders. The power of that diversity comes together and makes us a much more powerful industry during these incredibly challenging and draconian times. And from there together, we can be an enthusiastic industry and build back better together. We must maintain our values as well as understand the industry of other professionals while applying your technological as well as your leadership skills. But remember, above all that, your values of kindness, accountability, respect, as well as courage prevail. If we continue to practice those things right now, going into 2021, we will get out of this pandemic together. But it will also be a time that brings us together and unifies us as an industry that is ready to engage and share their ideas and address these issues as one. So let's all go and enjoy some lemonade out of this lemon and hope that together in 2021, we are all more fresh and stronger. And whatever you do and whatever you want to accomplish, just be exceptional.